And now for an on your side consumer alert, the income tax deadline passed at midnight, mm -hmm. as you know. We're into the 16th now. <laughs> now you could have filed an extension though. So what's the best way to discard those documents used to prepare those returns? Cakes Lily Wu, she's live showing exactly what you should do. Good morning, Lily. Well, Gloria and Jamel, have you used some bank statements to prepare your returns? Well, experts recommend using one of these, a shredder, to destroy them. <laughs> Identity theft is the fastest growing white collar crime in America, and those thieves look for documents with sensitive information. That's why the Better Business Bureau recommends using a shredder to properly discard those documents. A personal paper shredder is a good idea that experts say should become a daily routine. Shredding is actually more of a daily thing. Think about all the mail that comes in that has your information on it, including your address, or even if you get credit card offers, banking statements come in the mail. So don't just wait one time during the year to shred. Continuously shred because you don't want this information to get into the wrong hands. Coming up in the next half hour, we have the answer as to how long you should keep tax documents. Reporting live in Northwest Wichita, Lily Wu, Cake News. Thank you, Lily. And the Better Business Bureau is presenting a free program this morning with more advice on protecting your identity from thieves. Among other things, you'll learn how to know if someone has stolen your personal information. The program is from 730 to 9 this morning at the Wichita Area Builders Association. You can see the address on your screen right now, and that's on North Main Street in Midtown.